Hello guys and girls and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you how to get Harry Potter, Foster Stone, Chamber of Secrets and Prince Fast Bank working on modern Windows, Windows 10 and 11, but also how to make it in 4K, high high definition, just because we don't want it looking like we're playing in 2001. As you can see I'm on Foster Stone here and it's looking very shiny and brand new. I'll be showing you for all three games. If you need any questions come join my Discord, come um, comment down below if you need any help setting it up but hopefully I'll be able to get you playing these games fast easy and looking beautiful so let's get into it so what you want to do first of all I can't show you this part but you need to just go into Google and search Harry Potter and the Foster Stone or Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets or Harry Potter and Prism Bang on PC search it up there's lots of places to download it but I cannot technically give you a download link on my discord but once you found like say there's loads about just search it up go to any other websites you know of these abandoned games and what you want to do is create a folder with it in i've already extracted it but what you'll actually see is harry potter and the sorcerer's stone and what you'll need to do is extract it you'll need winrar or 7zip or a similar program i use winrar so you just click extract here you want to extract in this folder and what you'll be left with are these f these and then this serial key what you want to do is go into harry potter you then want to go and find auto run click on this and what you want to do it will say install here you then go through and install the game and it installs it on the computer again i already have it installed but this comes the important part it just won't work just because you've installed it it just won't run what you need now is this no cd this no cd is the most important part of it all in the no cd open it up we've got my harry potter foster stone you'll have created a shortcut come and click right click and click open file location this will open where it is and it opens up in the system but if it opens it to here you come in your foster stone you need to click into system and all you need to do is just drag this hp into there and what it will do it will ask do you want to replace it you'll actually click let yes um but i'm gonna click no and once you've done that the game will be able to run because you've got a cracked version now which gets past this abandoned software and allows you to play it however when you launch it it'll be a bit ugly it won't look as good so this comes the important part first up for foster store you want to open the game up so open it up because without it you will have some files so it opens up it's just going in window mode for me here just a bit of ease and once it's opened up let it get to the home screen and all we're going to do then is to close it down so boom 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 as you can see mine already looks really good but yours will look a bit crap so close it down and now we're going to close this down this down and this down and we're going to go into folders and then we're going to go to documents and when you play the game it generates a folder and for Harry Potter 1 it's just called Harry Potter and you'll have these you'll have save you'll have detected detected HP HP and user what we're going to go into is the configuration settings not the depth document of HP um, I've got a few of these open already so let's just close them all down and to get your game looking good what you want to do is scroll down so just using your downward arrow and you're going to be looking for this section here windrive windows client and this will be defaulted at like 640 times 320 things like that so you know the bog standard rate for 2001 what you want to do if you're playing on windowed view just delete the x and y um, and I'm playing on 1920 by 180. If you got a um, oh, 180, if you got a 4K monitor, put the ramifications for 4K there, or whatever ram uh, things you want. So if it's 12, 20, 1270 by 720, you know 1280 by 720, whatever you want to play. Then we've got full screen view, which most of us will, will play. So again, just change it to what you want. So 19 by 80. And this one will be defaulted at 16 so full screen color bits you want to upscale that to 32 
Then what we're going to do is just scroll down a bit more to min desired frame rate. Again, you can play up to 120 in this game, but anything over that, the game starts to be buggy. So I recommend playing at 60, but I'm just going to keep it at 34 for the video. So don't go above 120. Um, and then what we're going to do, again, you've got this one, which I always tend to change as well. Um, window color bits, again, from 16 to 32. And then I also just put this in here. And then finally, the final one we want to be looking for in this HP folder is um, VSync. So just put Control F and VSync. And if this is true, change it to false. So v use VSync. If it's true, change to false. It just helps with the um, the graphics. So some trees won't look as buggy, things like that. And then just press Control S or File and save perfect what you'll need to do now because we've updated everything you will need these will be in the download links below these two for these two here legacy d3 resolution hack and also another one which um i actually don't have right now but it's for widescreen fix because if you don't have them what happens is the menu just you can't get past the main menu so you need to have the widescreen fix which i already have in the folder and this vsync and what we need to do once again we need to click right click on harry potter and foster stone and we need to open file location and once again in this system we need to drop our vsync so in our hp1 folder um let's go to that which is on desktop hp1 pc we need to um extract so right click on legacy d3 resolution go to winrar and extract here which it will do and we get these two d3 dml and d3 dim 700 and you need to drag them across into the folder uh, and i've already got them there so it'll ask me to replace but then for hp menu um and hp base these two that will be down below the link you'll drag them in there and what will happen it opens it up into normal screen so once you've got both of them in there there's one last thing we want to do and it's to change the field of view so harry's legs are not hidden so we're going back into our documents folder into harry potter but this time we're going into the user configuration settings and what we're going to do we'll go control f and just click fov and desired FOV, you want to change to 106.26 for it to work. So again, into user, control F, 106.26, control F and save. And we can then open up the game again. And this time it's going to look rather beautiful. So let it open up. Come on, come on, come on. Start game and we can just load in on this one. Load game. Hogwarts main entrance. And as you can see, it's all in beautiful high definition. Again, it is a bit like it just because my computer's not logged in. But there we go. That is everything for Flosser Stone. Let's quickly move on to Chamber of Secrets. So, moving on to Chamber. And just a little side note, I will say if you can try and get the collection, this is the actual download I got where I got all three in one and it makes it so much easier. So if you're able to find that on the internet, I would recommend trying to find that one because it is really good. But again, we've got our HP2 PC folder. Again, I've got the legacy uh, hacks, which you will need. And we've got chamber. So all you need to do, once again, is extract. We've got the disk image file uh, it will just ask you to install uh, you've also got an item here um, again yours may come with a cd crack um, which it may do but again you just need to go into here uh, and it will ask you to install and the game ioc for your thing is here the crack so once you've installed once again we just need to find the 
Chamber of Secrets, which we you will have on your home screen. I don't for this, but just searching to hear Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets. Open file location. It takes you here um, again. Um, we can just open file location here, which it takes us in. So Chamber of Secrets. It's in your programs 86. Chamber of Secrets. Come into system. Put your cracked version of Chamber into here. And once again, you're wanting to open up the game just so you can install, um, have the files once again done. It is a very, it's the exact same setup, I will say, from Chamber to this one, uh, from Foster's Stone to this one. Prism Band does change a little bit. So he's going low game. Uh, I've got one used just for the time being. Uh, just kind of opened, I've played obviously before, but I opened it up just before playing. Um, and it should just open up. Um, I don't know why it's not doing that, but we'll just try that again. Um, don't know why I'm having problems now, but there we go. Let's just close it down. It will open up. Um, uh, what you'll then do, it once again, we'll go, we don't need recycled bin, we don't need this, we don't need system, don't need downloads. Let's close that. Go into your documents, and again, it will produce the folder Harry Potter 2. And then this time, we're going into game. Once again, um, instead of going into HP, and what we're going to find is, uh, don't save that, we're going to find the same things as last time, so we can play it in nice quality. This time, as you can see, it's not actually done, so window viewport we want as 1920 and 1080. That's already 32. Full screen 1920 or 180. Or if you're playing in 4K, once again, it's whatever you feel comfortable playing in. Um, again, I'll change these ones. So 1980. 19. I've done that wrong. 100. And that's 1920. Colour bits 32. 1920. 32. And then once again, we've got 30 frames. I'm just gonna leave it as that, but you can put it up to 60 and then we'll go find the sync. And once again, you want that as false just because there's some bugs, textures that you don't want to be on true. So we can hit file and save. And then going into then user. Once again, we're just going to find FOV, which is right here. It defaults at 90, uh, but you want at 106. 0.26, and then file, save, and once again, obviously, like I say, um, I actually did forget that step just because I'm going to do it now. You do want in chamber, you don't need the menu fix this time, but you do need once again this. is here so extract here where is it there we go chamber open file location and then open file location and in system here we just want to Grab these two and shove them in. Continue. And there we have it. So now when we go to launch chamber, um, what I'm gonna do is hopefully it will work. If it not, I'll just see why it's not. Uh, yes. So yeah, here we are in chamber. After all the cutscenes, you will find this menu here does get cut out, unfortunately. Nothing to be done about that. But now we're in the game. It's looking beautiful in 1920. Um, controls are smooth. Everything is up and running. So that, again, is how we get chamber. Finally, onto Prisoner. With Prisoner of Aspen, it's actually the easiest one to work with install. You just install it. You don't need to have a cracked version. It should just work when you download it. 
um, again if you do have any problems do let me know but you should be able to just launch it open it up after installing the game I can't show you where to get it but you can find it everywhere um, and like I say it just opened up so when you've opened it up uh, for that first time after installing it we just need to go into our documents into Harry Potter and the Prince of Asban, and we've got f two here this time so we've got HPPO um, and once again we're just going to go into there uh, open it up in a notepad form um, and yeah we're looking for our favourite things again um, I think I'm in the wrong one here no I'm not here we go um, and yeah we just got to put it in 1920 and 1080 for the window and full screen um, Ming desired I've got 60 frames so you can put that up to 120 again um, again this part here we can just edit it doesn't matter really but we'll go 192 or 1980 192 or 1080 menu 192 or 1080 just scroll down uh, means I frame rate at 60 and then if we just do ctrl f and got V sync. Oh. Again, this is a true. We're just going to change it to false. And once we've done that, it's just file, save, close this one. And then we're going to go into user. And on this one, this is where it becomes a bit more complicated because this one it may not have your field of view so if you go control F or V it may not be there so what I'm going to do I'm going to put this in the description below so just come to what down under at the bottom basically under engine and you're just going to copy and paste this here and it's going to be 115.260002 and once you've copied that in if you don't have engine.playcon control just copy and paste it in press save and what we'll be able to do this one it'll be nice and easy um we just go launch it i normally have it as set but i'm just going to launch it for you here you'll be able to see in sort of windowed mode how good the game looks so it's going nicely let's go load up one time <laughs> do promise that there we go load and we'll just load this game here i should be at the end of the game but yeah again nice 4k uh, or one in your HD, whatever you want. It's all updated, it's all there. Um, you can put the effects up, things like that from in there. But yeah, there we go. That is how to play all three Harry Potter games. This is the easiest one to run by far. Um, the other two can take a little bit, uh, especially with the cracked one. But once you've got that, you can just upscale it all up. Hopefully, this has helped. Like I said, any more questions, join my Discord, comment down below, and hopefully, I'll be able to point you right. Do leave a like, comment down below if you haven't. Subscribe, I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.